Let's take a look at some of the common settings in the Maya software renderer. We'll take a look at how we can batch render an animation and how to change the background color on a camera. So I have this simple animation over here of this ball. And right now if I pause this and if I render one frame, you can see that the background's black. So to change the background color, I'll simply go to the camera is called cam. I'll go to the camera attribute editor right here. And right now over here the environment rollout is open. So normally it's just rolled down like this. So just open it. And you have something called background color. So let's click on that and let's give it some nice color. So let's select a color right here. And let's go right over there. So I've got some color on the background. If I render this one more time, you can see that the background's got some nice light blue color. To access render settings in Maya, you go to this button right here on the status line. This is the render settings button. When you're batch rendering an animation, so when you finally wanted to render your animation out, it's called batch rendering in Maya. You have to make sure that you have a project directory or just for anything you do in Maya, it's very important to have a project directory. So I do have a project directory right now for this. So if I go to the common tab, it's called, it's on my desktop, it's called final, and that's my project directory. So let's see how we can do a batch render for this. So my file name I've given for this is BA. The image format I'm going to use is JPEGs. I always like to render everything as images. So that way if you're rendering stops for some reason, then you still have that many images done. So if you're rendering something was to happen and you're, you've rendered 50 frames and you're rendering stop, then you still have those 50 frames. My total animation time in this one is 60 frames. So let's go down over here. Frame padding 2. I've set it to 2. What that does is, you can see right here the way it's renaming, uh, way it's naming my images right here, BA010203. If I go to 1, you'll see that that changes to BA12. I generally like it to start from 0102 and so on. I'll come down over here. I'm just rendering first 5 frames right now just to check. Don't want to render the whole 60 frames. One most important thing, you got to make sure your camera is set. So normally people just forget and leave it at perspective, so be very careful. So cam, whatever cam you're on. The resolution, 640 by 480, all that's good. Let's go down over here. This is another important thing you got to make sure that you check. Uh, production quality, by default, Maya will be on low quality. So make sure you are at, I'm at highest quality right now in production quality. Generally, I leave it at that when I'm finally rendering. And any other things like ray tracing or anything you want to turn on, you can turn that on from here. When this is done, you can simply close this, and you'll have to go under Rendering. You have to go to Render, and go to Batch Render. And if you go to the Options box, I'm saying Use All Available Processors. So say Batch Render and Close. Now if you're wondering where this went, normally it should be open in the command line at the bottom. So let me open my command line over here. And here's our script editor. So you got to open that. And you can also open the script editor so it's saying rendering with Maya software over here. You can also open the script editor if your command line's not open from Window, General Editors, and Script Editor. So right now it's saying rendering with Maya software. You can see it's it's all it's already done right now. So it's done my five frames. And if you want to see how this rendered and where this went, let me quickly open um, my images folder. So here's my images folder, and these are the five images that were rendered.